Hi, listeners. Welcome to our English learning podcast. My name is Alexa, and I'm Alex. Today, we're excited to talk about the foundation of electricity. We'll keep it simple so everyone can follow along and learn new words in English. Let's get started. Electricity is such an interesting topic, Alex. It's all around us and powers so many things in our daily lives. But it wasn't always understood. Early people didn't know what electricity was. They saw lightning in the sky, but had no idea how it worked. You're right, Alexa. Early scientists were curious about lightning and sparks. They wondered what caused these flashes and shocks. It took hundreds of years of study to learn about electricity and figure out how to use it. Today, we rely on it for almost everything. One of the earliest discoveries was static electricity. Have you ever rubbed a balloon on your hair and seen it stick? That's static electricity. People noticed this effect thousands of years ago, but they didn't understand it at the time. Exactly, Alexa. Static electricity is just one part of the story. Later, scientists found that some materials, like amber, could attract light objects when rubbed. They didn't know why it happened, but it led them to explore more about the nature of electricity. One of the first major scientists to study electricity was William Gilbert. In the 1600s, he studied magnets and noticed that they had special forces. He coined the term electric based on the Greek word for amber, which he called electron. Yes, William Gilbert's work was important. He showed that some forces, like magnetism and electricity, could affect things at a distance. This was a huge discovery and got other scientists curious about how these forces worked. After Gilbert, other scientists joined the search. Benjamin Franklin was one of the most famous. He performed a dangerous experiment with a kite and a key in a storm. He wanted to prove that lightning was a form of electricity. That's right, Alexa. Franklin was very brave. He flew a kite with a metal key attached, and when lightning struck, he got a spark. This showed him that lightning was indeed a form of electricity, proving a connection between natural and man-made electricity. Franklin's experiment was important, but it was also risky. Luckily, he was not injured. His findings helped us understand that electricity isn't just in lightning. It can be controlled, which opened new possibilities for future inventions. Yes, and it wasn't just Franklin. Alessandro Volta made a big breakthrough too. In 1800, he created the first battery. This invention allowed people to store electricity. Now they didn't have to wait for lightning to study electricity. Volta's battery was revolutionary. It was made of metal discs and a special liquid. This created an electric current. With his invention, people could experiment with electricity any time. That was a big step forward. After Volta, Michael Faraday made even more progress. He discovered electromagnetic induction, which means electricity could be created by moving a magnet through a coil of wire. His discovery led to the creation of electric generators. Faraday was amazing. He showed us how electricity and magnetism are related. Generators make electricity by moving magnets, which is how we power our homes today. Thanks to Faraday, we have an easy way to produce electricity. Yes, Faraday's work was crucial, and after him came Thomas Edison, who worked on the light bulb. He wanted to make electricity safe and easy to use in homes. His inventions made it possible for people to have light any time, not just during the day. Edison's light bulb changed the world. Before electricity, people used candles or oil lamps, which were risky and didn't last long. Edison's invention was safer and lasted much longer. His work made homes and streets brighter. But Edison wasn't the only one working on electricity. Nikola Tesla was also a brilliant inventor. 
He believed that alternating current, or AC, was better than Edison's direct current, or DC. AC could travel longer distances without losing power. Tesla's ideas were game changers. AC power made it possible to send electricity to homes, even if they were far from the power station. This made electricity accessible to more people. Tesla's inventions are still used today in our power systems. That's right, Alexa. Tesla and Edison had different ideas about how electricity should be used. Their rivalry is known as the War of Currents. In the end, Tesla's AC system became more popular and we still use it in most places today. It's amazing to think about all the people who contributed to our understanding of electricity. Each scientist built on the work of those before them, slowly revealing the mysteries of this powerful force. They were all true pioneers. Absolutely, Alexa. And today, we have advanced technology because of their discoveries. We use electricity not only for light, but for computers, phones, transportation, and so much more. It's essential to our modern world. Electricity has come a long way since those early experiments. Today, scientists and engineers continue to improve how we produce and use it. From solar panels to wind turbines, they're finding ways to generate electricity that are better for the planet. That's true, Alexa. Renewable energy sources like wind, solar, and hydroelectric power are becoming popular because they don't run out and are cleaner than fossil fuels. This is important because it helps protect the environment while providing us with power. Yes, renewable energy is the future. The great thing about solar energy, for example, is that it uses sunlight to create electricity. The sun shines every day, so we can have an endless supply of power as long as we have sunlight. Exactly, Alexa. Another cool thing about modern electricity is energy storage. We can store electricity in large batteries, allowing us to save power generated during the day for nighttime use. This helps keep the power supply stable. The batteries are so important. Just think about how our phones and electric cars rely on them. Without good batteries, we couldn't enjoy portable electricity. Scientists are always trying to make batteries that last longer and charge faster. Yes, and advances in electricity also help in space exploration. Solar panels power spacecraft and satellites, letting them travel and send us information from far away. Electricity truly reaches beyond our world. That's a great point, Alex. Even on the International Space Station, solar panels supply power. Astronauts use this electricity for their research and daily needs. Without it, space exploration would be much harder. And on Earth, electricity supports medical technology, too. Hospitals use electric machines for scans, surgeries, and other treatments. These tools help doctors diagnose and treat patients, improving health outcomes for many people. Absolutely, Alex. Electricity in the medical field saves lives every day. From x-rays to life support machines, it's essential. Our understanding of electricity has led to incredible progress, making life safer and more comfortable. So true, Alexa, electricity has changed every part of our lives and the journey to understand and harness it is still evolving. We owe so much to the early pioneers and we keep building on their discoveries. The future of electricity is bright. Electricity even makes our homes smart these days. We can control lights, thermostats, and even security systems from our phones. It's amazing how technology makes everyday life more convenient and connected, all thanks to electricity. That's a great point, Alexa. Smart homes are a perfect example of how electricity keeps improving our lives. Now, with a few taps on a screen, people can turn off lights, lock doors, or adjust the temperature even when they're not home. Another exciting area is electric vehicles, or EVS. They don't need gasoline because they run on electricity. EVs are quieter, cleaner, 
and better for the environment. This shift shows how electricity can make transportation sustainable. Yes, EVs are a big step forward. As more people switch to electric cars, we'll see a decrease in pollution from vehicles. This shift will help cities have cleaner air and contribute to the fight against climate change. Electricity also powers entertainment, televisions, computers, and gaming consoles. All need it. It's hard to imagine a world without these devices. Electricity not only helps us work but also allows us to relax and have fun. True, Alexa. Even in sports, electricity plays a role. Stadiums have lights for night games, and scoreboards keep track of points. Plus, broadcasting lets fans watch their favorite sports from anywhere. Electricity brings people together. You're right, Alex. Electricity really connects people, whether it's through sports, phones, or the internet. We're able to communicate instantly across the globe. This was unimaginable just a few centuries ago. Exactly, Alexa. It's remarkable how electricity has made the world feel smaller. From emails to video calls, we can stay in touch with family and friends no matter where they are. This connection is a true gift of modern electricity. As we think about the future, new discoveries in electricity will keep coming. From renewable energy to smarter devices, the possibilities are endless. The work of early scientists continues to inspire us to find new ways to use electricity. Absolutely, Alexa. Electricity has shaped our world and will keep doing so. It's exciting to imagine what comes next, and as we keep learning, the benefits will grow. We're lucky to have such a powerful resource. Thank you so much for listening to our discussion on the foundation and wonders of electricity. We hope you enjoyed learning about how it all began and where it's going. Remember, learning English is a journey, and we're here to help you every step of the way. Yes, thank you. Everyone, understanding electricity also helps us understand how our world works. Keep listening to learn more English and discover new topics. Please subscribe, like, and stay tuned for more. Until next time.